so here is my hackrf and the speech table i will put the memory card inside it So this is my phone which is Google Pixel 6a. I got it two years back and I will just oops. Let's restart it. Yep. So this is the application. do it straight so this is the application and I will open up open the C8 file that we transfer transfer this is the file not changing the gain and the amplitude and th this is the frequency if you want you can put it in loop but let's try it just for the first time it should work and make sure that your phone is on airplane mode with the location on and just restart it once so if I go to the location you will see it won't locate the GPS test so this is a this is an application that shows the GPS signals from the satellites and after I run it you can see it has started transmitting the signals make sure you use this antenna and not a telescopic antenna see uh, there are some signals the phone is capturing from the hack RF So you can see we are getting signals and just going to the okay. I have given enough permissions. So you can see in the commands I gave 50 and 40, and this is what we are getting. So it means we have spoofed the GPS location. I don't know why I'm not getting this. Anyways. And see it has stopped. The portal pack has stopped. So you will see the signals are diminishing. Going to the Google Maps, you will see we have spoofed our location. It is 50 and 40. I don't know if it is correct on Google Maps or not, but I, I hope so. So GPS spoofing is successful. I have got the spoofing signal on my Google Pixel and not on this one. I don't know why it's not showing it. Okay. 
Oops. Oh. Yep. So you can see I have spoofed on both of my phones on Pix on Samsung and on Google Pixel. But somehow spoofing is not working on iPhones. I don't know why maybe they are using some other ways or protocols to update the time and the gps signals and data so thank you guys we are going to do gps spoofing and to you to do that we will use this open source tool which is gps sdr sim and it has around more than 3k stars so we are going to first clone it Tools. Oops. Let's just delete it first. Yes, yes, okay. So we will clone the repo and going inside. So these are all the repository files and since this is a C, C and C++ based uh, tool, we will directly compile it using make command and it's compiled. So we will see this, there will be a binary generated which is this one, run it, yeah. So these are the flags we will use to we can use to run the tool blog is pretty clear how to use the gps sim application on meha and porta pack and uh, it shows step by step details of how to use the tool uh, gps sdr sim and i think before proceeding we need a renex navigation file that mimics the navigation path of a satellite so it is open source so we can download the file from nasa database and let's see let's use that latest up to date file going down so today is 19th of April 2025 so we will download this file so we have downloaded the file it is here just double click it on Mac copy from We have this file now. Let's. I will just look at the command. Uh, dash e. This file. And the coordinates. So these are the coordinates we want to spoof. Like after spoofing the coordinate uh, the every device will show these coordinates so and the last this is the altitude this is 500 and we will use a sampling rate and the most important flag is this one it denotes that the output binary will be in 8 signed 8 bytes and the output file will be gps sim dot Yes. Capital or small, it doesn't matter. This is the duration. So after this much time, you will see you will get a file known as file name known as C8, gsim.c8, and we will just copy 
just delete the, these files and yeah on this blog they have mentioned that we have to create another file with the same name and extension txt that should contain the sample rate and center frequency so i have already kept the file here and i will just copy a c8 file into the document directory and so yeah we i have these two files just i will just copy these two into my porta pack memory card into this folder gps after that we will go to our porta pack and just transmit the signals using G gps sim application so it is done let's go to the porta pack